In this advanced dynamic panels demo, we'll show you how to use the events on a dynamic panel to prototype an accordion control. Here are the widgets that will make up the accordion. Each section has a header and content. Since the content will be shown and hidden dynamically, we'll put each one in a dynamic panel using convert to dynamic panel. And set these dynamic panels to hidden by default. On each section header, we'll add a case to the on-click event to toggle the visibility of its content panel. When we show the content from one section, we want to move the sections below it down, so let's put each section into a dynamic panel. And move each section into its default position. Now that everything is in place, and we have our interactions to show and hide the content, we want to add interactions to move the dynamic panels. Anytime section 2 moves up or down, we want section 3 to move with it. To do that, we'll add a case to the onMove event of section 2 to move section 3 with this. Now let's go into section 1 and use the onShow and onHide events on the content panel to move the sections beneath. We need to know the height of the content panel since that is the amount we want to move the other sections. In the onShow event, we'll move section 2 down by 120 pixels. And in the onHide of the panel, we'll move section 2 up by 120 pixels. Remember that the onMove event on section 2 handles moving section 3, so we don't need to move that panel here. Now do the same for the onShow and onHide of the section 2 content panel. Since section 3 is the last section, we don't need to add these interactions. Let's generate the prototype and check it out. Clicking on each of the headers shows the content and pushes the sections below it down, and clicking on them again hides the content and moves everything back up. And that's how to create an accordion control with dynamic panels. If you have questions, email us at supportedaxure.com or tweet us at ActureRP.